Dan Walker, 45, admitted he was feeling rather unprepared for the interesting first day he has experienced so far at Channel 5 News. The former BBC Breakfast star confessed he wasn't sure how to tell his bosses ahead of covering the no-confidence vote in Boris Johnson, 57, which is now set to happen at around 6 p.m. Dan took to Twitter today to update his 761,400 fans on the first day of his new job. He wrote, Interesting first day on a job out at 5 underscore news. A vote of confidence in the Prime Minister. The plan is to be live, on 5, at 5 from Downing Street, he added. The actual vote is set to take place between 6 p.m. and 8 p.m. this evening in the House of Commons, but Dan's presenting job begins at 5 p.m. Dan went on to admit that he was feeling a tad underprepared for the weather ahead. Not sure how to tell my new bosses I didn't bring a coat to work, he added. Dan has had a busy day today, already appearing earlier on Good Morning Britain. The former BBC Breakfast presenter spoke about his move over to Channel 5 with the ITV host Susanna Reid and thanked the team for the interview afterwards on Twitter. Sharing a short clip from the interview, he wrote, Morning. Thanks for having me. What a day to start, he added in reference to Monday's jam-packed news cycle. Yesterday, Dan also sent out a sweet message to his former BBC Breakfast colleague as he announced his busy start to the week. Dot he tweeted, first day of my new TV life tomorrow and it will start in a very strange way. On at GMB. See you in the morning with at Suzanne Arid 100, thankfully not too early, and then at 5, on 5. P.S. I still love you at Sally Nugent, Dan added. Boris Johnson will face a confidence vote in his leadership of the Conservative Party today after enough MPs submitted letters calling for a contest. The vote will take place between 6 p.m. and 8 p.m. this evening and an announcement is expected about an hour after the vote closes. It has been confirmed that at least 54 MPs have written to the chair of the 1922 Committee of Tory backbenchers, Sir Graham Brady, calling for a vote. Sir Graham said he notified Boris on Sunday and that they had agreed on timings for the vote together, and added that it would not be a bad description to say some MPs had tried to ensure the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations were not interrupted by their letters. The Prime Minister is also set to make a plea to his MPs at 4pm for their continued support.